Angry supporters of Pedro Castillo took to the streets of capital Lima on Thursday, demanding the ousted president be released. But clashes erupted when police tried to disperse the crowd with tear gas. We elected a president until 2026. His name is Pedro Castillo Terrones, and this rotten Congress must respect the popular vote. Here in the southern town of Puno, where the former president has a lot of support, protesters marched against the newly sworn in president Boluarte and the lawmakers in Congress who ousted Castillo. We urgently want the closure of the Congress and urgent freedom for Pedro Castillo, that they all go home. Dina Boluarte does not represent us. Castillo was removed from office after he tried to dissolve the parliament, which was planning to bring him down through an impeachment vote, the third attempt since he came to power a year and a half ago. Castillo is under investigation for rebellion and conspiracy. A Supreme Court judge agreed to place him under provisional detention for seven days. Dina Boluarte, the Peruvian vice president under Castillo, has been sworn in and is expected to serve the remaining three and a half years of his term. As we all know, there has been an attempted coup d'etat, an attempt pushed by Mr. Pedro Castillo, which is not found backing in the institutions of democracy and in the streets. This Congress of the Republic, per the constitutional mandate, has taken a decision and it is my duty to act accordingly. Mexico's president has signaled he's open to granting asylum to the ousted president. His government is due to hold talks with Peruvian authorities shortly.